Okay, it's Pete here from Intricate Nature. And uh, I just want to show you my pond. It's been about four weeks since I last saw it. And it's definitely filled up. Pond, pool. I don't know if I can necessarily swim in that, but it's all rainwater. Four weeks. It's a 33 foot round. But it looks like it's kind of being, become elongated. So I'm going to have to maybe do some something with this to add this up so it can actually go up a little bit. It's definitely going to be an oblong pond. I don't think it's going to be too round. In order to get it up to this level, I'm going to have to add some, maybe a nor liner or some pond liner or something. I'm going to measure something up. I've been researching some options. But I just wanted to show you this. I just uh, stocked it with three dozen golden shiners. So, uh... Even though it's been four weeks, I haven't been here. I just put them in there and hopefully they will eat the mosquitoes because I'm noticing there's some mosquitoes around here. And uh, there's frogs everywhere when I got here. Pretty awesome. Got a water source. Soon maybe we'll have a food source. Notice a lot of animals and creatures running around here. Uh, because of it, I'm sure there's a lot of animals and creatures coming in because of it. Uh, it's definitely been raining here. There's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, stuff in the path on the way here. So uh, I don't know if you can see the surface of the water, but it's kind of cool. The uh, three dozen golden shiners I bought from a bait dealer. So uh, they're definitely they're definitely going to live in there and eat what's there. And for now, it'll just be a water supply. It's a work in progress. Eventually I don't want to see any blue at all, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, see that? That was a frog that was floating in the middle. Very cool. Before this it was just a road going through, and now it's a pond. Pool, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, just a way to have something off my cabin and have a water source up on top of this ridge. Uh, nothing big, nothing crazy. It's all contained within a within a liner system. Um, it's experimental. Worst comes to worst, I could pull it out. So, uh, as all intents and purposes, it's a pool. It may take a while. I'm calling it a pond because it looks like a pond right now. Obviously, it's a pool liner. Anyway, it's something to have a water supply. And the reason I wanted a water supply was so I could finish the insulation in my cabin and now I can finish the insulation in the cabin beforehand I had the truck with the truck I had a truck water up here from a different pond now I have water to work with and that was the whole reason for it so now with the golden shiners in there that should fix the uh, bug problem in a couple days we should be good to go so anyway this is Pete from Intricate Nature and I wanted to show you this little quick little clip and how it showed up and I'm very happy with the results and going to add some, that said I said I'm going to add something over here and up with this dike and that's going to, that'll raise it another foot or two and hopefully get it just up like where the shallow water is here. It'll be shallow over there because I definitely want that to be shallow area, but I want this a little deeper. I want it to go farther up that rock. So I'll uh, keep you posted. See how it goes. Pete for internet entry. Okay, so I went around and I pulled my liner up a little bit higher, kind of tightened up the bottom of the pond a tiny bit. I'd like to get two more feet, but it's not going to happen. I might be able to get two feet out of it. Two feet would put it up a little bit higher. Uh, this is four weeks now. What I want to do maybe is fill this in right here, and that would ramp it up, and maybe I get my other two feet until I have to add to it. So uh, we'll see how it goes, and I'll show you in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from this bank, underfill it, and then put it back over the top. Okay, I just wanted to shoot a little bit of film here. Uh, basically what happened was down here was overflowing. My bank was back here, so I was going to join a piece to this whole side to get it to that bank. And instead I decided that I'd move that bank over there, over here. So I did that, and now I'm going to get two feet up of water there. It's all giant boulders underneath there. 
and then I supported back with a couple boulders there and I'm thinking that since it's going to be supported over here and over there that that'll force the water out each way uh, anyway that's a thought on that I don't know if the wire is going to come all the way up to here but whatever point it comes to then I'll roll it back and rock the edge so uh, I'd like to get at least two to three more feet of water in there that would be really nice I think it would that would end up like an island over there that would be perfect um, be nice maybe I don't know there's a lot of ideas after you put that in so I'd like to see the water up to here I'd like to see the water overflowing the top of that and if that's the case then there'll be water will be up into there and that's what that's what I'm looking for up where those rock level is so that'll give me a lot more surface area of water not real deep two to three feet out here It'd be two to three feet out here and four to five in the center it's not crazy deep it's not crazy wide it's you know it is what it is so but I think this is gonna work out much better uh, someone gave me a hosta it was sitting in my basement all winter kind of dying so I stuck it down in here it said rocky well drained I think that we're good to go over at that so I planted first plant along the edge and I took all this dirt and I backfilled it all underneath here forcing this up a little higher you see what I did there this will probably end up being an overflow but that's okay so now I'll be able to get my water up just a little bit deeper so just an afternoon of work pretty happy with the results so far this is Pete from Intica Nature. Thanks for watching, staying with me. It's been a pretty interesting experience so far. It's kind of nice uh, this morning to come out here and just look across it and watch the little minnows that I stocked in here go along and chow on, the, on, on mosquito larvae that were in there. So that's the main reason I put them in there, take care of that issue. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, Subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think. This is my pool slash pond. Uh, yes, I'm going to swim in here some point or another. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's been a lot of work. Pretty fun. Anyway, I'm going to shoot a little slow-mo so you can kind of see it here. And shut up for a minute. Thanks for watching.